I am insanely fast. Oh no! Hello, hello, and welcome to a video to show you guys how to get mods on iOS for 0.9.4 or 0.9.5 or any other 0.9. whatever, you know. And this is for iOS only because, you know, Android has already had mods for so long. And one thing that you have to have other than iOS is you have to be jailbroken. If you're not jailbroken, it's literally impossible to get um, mods or anything. So, yeah, I guess this is more or less the first mod that ever came out on iOS for 0.9.4 and stuff. So, yeah, it was made by DRM, I guess. And um, this is what it looks like in the picture, as you can see. So, first thing what you want to do, right, I'll show you step by step. So, this is basically Mod Loader. If you know um, Block Launcher for Android, it's basically the same thing. But this one's, I don't know if it's a lot cooler or anything, but, you know, it's much easier to use. So, first things first, I really recommend you go to the App Store and download uh, any application that can download files, like Download Manager or something, just because it makes the process so much simpler. And in this tutorial, I'll be using Download Manager, but you can get any other but you know, um, uh, application that can download files. So what you want to do, click the second link in the description, that um, thing there, and then you see this download 1.0 and stuff. Hold on it, copy the link, then go to your download manager and paste it in here. As you can see, oops, dot .deb, there we go. And it will come an option to download. You download this file and it will turn out like this. So this is your file. This is what will give you the option to, you know, download uh, mods and everything so yeah that's basically block launcher right there so next what you want to do is you want to go into iFile you want to go to document so basically go to the application where you just downloaded that file I showed you for me it is in downloads and that is what my application is called documents and here it is what you want to do is click on this and do installer and that's about it so once you do installer, you open up Minecraft Pocket Edition, you see this huge button here. I honestly don't know why he made it so big, but you know, that's what it is. You click on it and basically here, this is what you have for mods. And as you can see, this has available mods and it has nothing. But the dude who made this mod loader, basically this, he made three tweaks for us to use or three mods for us to use which is really cool so this if it does get too you know clunky and in the way and stuff you can move it all the way to the side it doesn't really matter even if you can't see it and if you want to bring it back you can click on the side where you just dragged it from or you can bring it back just slide your finger across and yeah that's basically it for this it's basically useless until you download mods and uh, yeah let's get into how to download mods for this thing so for the mods, basically I'm showing you on, because he's the, literally the only one who made mods for this, but you can go to other people, because in the future, maybe after a few weeks after this has been uploaded, other people will make mods, but this is basically how you install them. So basically just copy his um, link and go to your download, um, what's it called, download manager thing, whatever you have, and paste the link in here. It was the third link with the GitHub thing. <laughs> um, Go down and go to desktop version. It's not always going to be the same process. Basically, you just have to download the mods. And this is how he made it so we can download. So you have this full page here. And um, yeah, you just go to the right. Click download zip. And it will start downloading. Once I click download there and click done. And basically, you unzip this and delete this one just because it's a zip file. And inside, you'll find these things in here. Infinite health and speed mod and super jump this is all confusing so just leave that in the download manager next what you want to do is you want to go to um, ifile and you want to go back to your where you downloaded those files which me for again was in download manager for you it could be somewhere else and go to documents and you'll see this mc mod loader thing and this is where all the, the file that you just downloaded. It's not always going to be the same depending on who uploaded the file, but this is how you download them. You click on this, you click on this file, and you see infinite health, speed mod, and super jump. Say you want super jump, you click on it, and see this one that has a little like, it's like a little tear, but it's like a zip on this um, file here. Click on it, choose installer, and that's it, you've installed it. Next, you want the speed mod, do this. Bis this is basically how you install any mod. It's not always going to be the same process for downloading it from GitHub. It could be from Mediafire or anywhere else, depending where the 
person who uploaded the mod uploaded it to so yeah you can click on this installer and boom that's it as well as infinite health this thing the one with the little tear installer and that's it basically you have all the mods now so now jumping back into minecraft pocket edition if you click this button as you can see you have these options mine is just at the fullest because i i, I was actually testing it this will be on probably like one here this will be uh, there and this will probably be there so if you want to use this, I, I just put mine to the side just because it's annoying that like it's a huge button. And um, yeah, I just made this review world. So basically, right, this is how you normally walk and this is how you normally jump. You know, nothing's special or anything. You click on the mod loader, infinite health, you have to make a new world if you want that to work. Speed mod, basically crank up the speed to full. And yeah, your view basically goes all weird and you get super speed, which is really cool. <laughs> it's so awesome. Like this is the first mods that's come on iOS and stuff and for 9.0 and everything. And um, yeah, it doesn't require respin, nothing like that. Your view does go weird just because you're going super fast. Like look how this block looks and look how it looks when we go back to one. Um, basically, it's basically zoomed in. <laughs> so say you want you want the super jump. This one you have to be careful with. Say you put on five. Look at this. Ready? Three, two, one. I am Felix Bombardner. We landing on Earth. No problem. <laughs> but yeah, you just jump ridiculously high. You can crank it down if you want, and yeah, just put it down a little bit. Crank up the speed mode just because it's cool. And yeah, you basically get this like almost like you're on the moon. <laughs> Okay, say you got bored of this, say you just didn't like how it fell and you know, for some reason you didn't like this and you want to uninstall it. If you're wondering how you uninstall, basically go into Cydia and then you go on the changes and as you can see, all the all the .deb files, which all of those files that you downloaded were when you clicked installer. Basically, if you want to remove it, just click here and click remove and you can confirm it and stuff. So yeah, that's if you want to remove it and um, yeah, there's MC Loader and all the mods you downloaded. Um, so yeah, these are just some of the few mods that have been uploaded by the developer of the uh, mod, of mod loader. And yeah, it's really awesome so far. It's I love how it's just inside Minecraft Pocket Edition instead of being in the settings app, which is cool. You don't have to get out of this app at all. And I can't wait to see what um future mods people make. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys know how to download it. Hope this tutorial was helpful. If you want any help, just comment and I will reply to you. And yeah, anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy the mods. They're really fun. My perfect lion and I'll see you guys later. Bye.